Hello my darlings, welcome to this reading where we're going to be taking a look at your love story, your relationship dynamic with your future spouse and any other messages or important information that's going to be coming through. Three options for today's reading, option number one over here, option number two with this heart and option number three with this heart over here. See which one you're mostly drawn to. Don't overthink it. And let's go ahead and begin. My lovely option number one. How welcome to you reading, guys. If you were drawn to this gorgeous heart and the fountain tarot, get comfy as I'm shuffling the cards. Say your name out loud on your head. Helps you connect to the energies of the reading a little bit better. Now then, let's take a look at your love story with your future spouse and maybe your relationship dynamic and any other details that are going to be willing to come through in this reading. I'm not putting on any limitations as to what information is going to come through. Whatever you need to hear, you're going to hear. All right, let's go ahead and begin, my dears. Okay, so straight away what's coming through guys is that when it comes to your future spouse, both of you are going to benefit financially from meeting each other. I don't know what it is, but they're telling me that there is so much growth that you, you are meant to come together in order to create something incredibly stable love-wise, but also when it comes to finances. Because your future spouse somebody who's incredibly ambitious but it kind of feels like both you and your future spouse you need somebody to believe in you you know those types of people who are very talented who are somebody who are meant to achieve a lot in life but nobody really believes in them and they're constantly doubting themselves and this is what it kind of feels like over here but the thing is they're telling me once the two of you come together you're going to have a very wealthy and abundant life. Even if you're already well off right now, they're saying it's going to be multiplied tenfold. So already when it comes to the relationship dynamic of you and your future spouse, I'm seeing a lot of support. I'm seeing a lot of understanding, compassion, and belief in each other's abilities. This is incredible. Now, it does feel like your future spouse could be somebody who is a little bit older than you are. Okay. But look at this, the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Straight away, the cards are saying that your future spouse, guys, is going to be your ride or die for life. Your friend, your lover, your supporter. <laughs> for some of you, even your producer. The stability that I'm seeing over here is so incredibly rare. A lot of people are going to be envious of your relationship. A lot of people are going to be asking you for the secret to your long-lasting and very harmonious relationship. Yeah, obviously it's not going to be all rainbows and butterflies. Yeah, we're being real over here. We're all adults and, you know, but the majority of the time I'm seeing a lot of support and it feels like both of you need it because both of you have been through hell and back some of you might have trouble sleeping some of you might be very burdened by the thoughts of the future And major trust issues. Hello, major trust issues. Okay, guys, honestly, I keep seeing that a lot in my readings and that's normal, yeah? Because obviously with experience, we get those issues piling up, yeah? But the thing is over here, what they're saying when it comes to your future spouse and you, it's kind of like a reset button is going to be pressed on both of you. And they're showing me like this eraser that erases things like pain, mistrust, yeah? It's like both of you, you're going to create 
I keep hearing like a whole new, uh, new like dimension, a new universe for yourselves. Because I keep seeing like two people who are holding each other's arms, who got each other's backs. You are acting as a team over here. They keep giving me little details. They're like snaps of like your family life. That you you laugh a lot. You laugh a lot. You have a good time. There's a lot of there. There are a lot of cozy moments over here, where you know it's raining outside and you guys are just watching a movie by candlelight or you're cooking something together. It's very cozy. It's very sweet and it's also very intimate. You yourselves, guys, you might be a little rough around the edges sometimes. Um, but your future spouse is so okay with it. Because here I'm seeing like acceptance. And a lot of energy that's being repressed. Uh, energy of entrepreneurship, energy of ambition, energy of moving forwards. The thing is, you guys are... And some might call you lazy, but the cards are saying you're not lazy, you're unmotivated. And your relationship dynamic with your future spouse, it implies that you guys are going to be able to find a way to motivate one another. It's kind of like you're unlocking each other, unpacking each other. A lot of romance. So even if you don't consider yourself romantic, here guys are going to be inclined to do little things to bring more romance into your life. The love language um, that's coming through over here is quality time, words of affirmation, and um, yeah, look at this, words of affirmation, support. The thing is I'm getting a bit of a dynamic of a power couple over here. Because the things you guys are going to build together, it doesn't matter how old you are, it really doesn't matter. They're telling me it's not the question of time, it's the question of wanting to. It's the question of unleashing your full potential. And the two of you, it's like, again, they keep saying activation, activation, activation. You guys are going to activate each other. Let me talk to the Norman a little bit. I want to see more about your love story. Maybe some details on how you meet or anything else that the cards are going to be willing to say. Messages and the sun. Oh my god. This is so sweet, guys. It's like there's a little bit of a channeled message from your future spouse. And they're saying, like, my love to you comes through everything that surrounds you. Even though I'm not together with you right now. I want you to feel my love through the warmth of the sun, through the singing of the birds. And their heart is literally reaching out to you because their heart aches without you. They keep calling you their person. Their person, the one. Their soulmate, their twin flame, however you wanna, however you wanna call it, but they just keep saying like you are my person. Okay, well, since a channeled message is coming through, let's pull out that thread. A lot of birds, see now, birds they tend to go somewhere else. So there's this message where they're saying, "I'll take you away." I will take you away from where you are and we'll build something else together in a different place. See, there's a lot of birds, a lot of wings. They keep talking about being able to fly, being able to go higher. They're saying for now, because I'm not around and I can't love you, I can't give you the love that you deserve see it through the universe because it's almost like they're sending their love and their love comes to you in every possible way through the sun through the singing through um through thoughts through music through something that you read it's almost like you can can feel them 
and I keep saying like it's almost like I can feel you and soon we're going to be able to settle down see it's a question um, for some of you you might already know this person this person might be at a distance or you're at this stage where things are a little bit undecided and I'm getting a very specific message for some of you guys that you have already met that person but you're at this early beginning stages that they can't really say all of those things to you but they feel it and their higher self is kind of coming through to let you know that they feel it and you feel it but it's this energy where they're telling me like things are undecided just yet but with the anchor anchor brings stability so maybe the two of you you're thinking of relocating somewhere or of having to make an important decision mm -hmm. your favorite flowers might be lilies <laughs> They just keep saying, I can't wait. I can't wait to meet you. I can't wait to be together with you. I can't wait for us to, to hold hands, to, to do things together. It's very interesting. Your future spouse is very talkative. They're very good when it comes to talking, to communication. Like I said, words of affirmation. You could also be dealing with somebody who's very unconventional, but somebody who finds a very unconventional way to motivate you guys. Now, when we're talking about the love story over here, like I said, some of you, you have already met this person and it could have been through the internet or through, hmm, or like they're talking about some sort of place that's very, very hot. You might find yourself in a place that's incredibly hot right now. But it's something about not being able to see the future now for one reason or another. Not being able to give you the stability. If you haven't met anybody, guys, this is coming through very strongly as them sending you a message. So it could be through social media. And again, with the energy of the sun, it could be, um, you know, while you're traveling somewhere at a beach. But they keep showing me like a place that's very hot or gets very hot. There's a lot of respect that's coming through over here. Yeah, it could be that there's some sort of issue or something that needs to be done with official documents, with visas, uh, with getting with getting an acceptance to somewhere. They keep saying that we will have the house that you want. We will have the house, we will have the dogs, we will have the kids, we will have the happiness and the stability. For now, it's all a little bit up in the air. And for you, they're saying, now it's all a little bit up in the air. But they keep saying, I will work things out. Apart from that, they're showing me... Um, You know what? This is very interesting. As soon as this person comes into your life or when they came into your life, because again, guys, I feel for some of you, you already know this person because the energy is so close. The energy is so close. So it's either that you're about to meet them or you already know them. And it's interesting because they're saying like, as soon as they come into your life, everybody else who was interested in you or any other cords that you might still have had to your exes, they're being cut because the cross is like, that's it. That is it. And you're literally telling everybody else to go away. And so are they. Because they come through somebody who's very good looking. Very good looking, very attractive. But then so are you. But as soon as you have met each other, or as soon as you meet each other, all of the other people that just feed off of your energy, or they want something that isn't serious, you send them away. You send them away on their way. <laughs> Another important thing, guys, is when it comes to the love story of you and your future spouse, you will be changing careers. And for some of you, it might have something to do with 
from being in the public eye. Being in the public eye and fulfilling the dream, the dream you might have had when you were little. But they keep talking about relocation, guys. Relocation, uh, quite possibly writing a book of some sort, writing a script. Maybe some of you wanted to be script writers or authors. There's this energy of success. Success being in the public eye and awakening each other. But you love each other so much. Oh my God, guys. You're going to be one of those couples that are very, very old, still holding hands, still giving each other little kisses. Gorgeous. Because with this person, you're going to feel very secure. <clears throat> and both of you will be putting in the effort, putting in the effort to make this relationship work. And oh my gosh, the amount of romance. You will keep romance going, guys. You know, this is the interesting thing where they're telling me that life is going to get tough at some point, obviously. You know, it has its ups and downs and its cycles. But the thing is, throughout the ups and downs, what they're showing me, that you and your future spouse, you hold your hands. You hold each other's hands through it. And you find the romance in the most unromantic places. And for a moment there, it kind of feels like the world doesn't even exist anymore. It's just the two of you. And you always crave more and more and more of one another. It's almost like you can never get enough. But your love story is, is incredibly beautiful and inspirational. And again, people are going to be looking at you and just wondering how the hell you did it. <laughs> how the hell you did it. All right, my lovely option number one. That's what I have for you, my dears. Hope you enjoyed this reading and it resonated. If you're up for a personal read, send me an email. The email is in the description box below. And check my Patreon page out as well. All right, guys, take care now. Bye. Lovely option number two. And welcome to you reading, guys. If you were drawn to this gorgeous heart and the ethereal visions tarot, get comfy. And as I'm shuffling the cards, say your name out loud or in your head. Helps you better connect to the energies of the reading. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what's going to be coming through when it comes to the relationship dynamic between you and your future spouse and your amazing love story. It's funny how I said amazing, guys, because it kind of feels like it's going to be something out of the ordinary, something unique. I feel a lot of you, you have waited and you have almost lost hope. So straight away when it comes to your future spouse, you guys are going to be choosing between two people. Let's see what's happening over here. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'm going to say this. There's going to be somebody at a distance because they're showing me a long distance relationship over here. And somebody not willing to let you go. Somebody not willing to let you go. So there's going to be somebody who will want to keep you where you are. Mm -hmm. And with this person, the relationship is going to be very much up and down. Some of you might already know this person. Some of you might um, meet this person. The relationship is very up and down. It starts progressing, then it stops. And then it starts progressing, then it stops. <laughs> then it progresses again, and then it stops. But it doesn't stop completely. And somehow, I will take a look at how you meet your future spouse. Because here I'm seeing that you might think that this person is your twin flame. But it's coming through more as a karmic, to be honest with you. More of a draining energy. It's like, you know, one of those relationships when it's good, it's good. And when it's bad, it's like, oh my God, how bad is it? 
like a never-ending cycle. Mm -hmm. So many things that are going on over here. But in that relationship that you guys are going to have with this person, who is not your future spouse, I'm just going to say this, it's going to feel very up and down where you give much more than you take. But the person comes back, gives you hope, and for a little time things are back to normal again. But even in the Lenormand at the bottom of the deck, they're giving me the energy of a snake. You know, somebody who is quite manipulative, somebody very good looking, yeah? There's like this attraction they're telling me that might have to do with physical attraction that might have to do with not being able to walk away or not wanting to lose the stability you might have had with this person. See, it's like they keep pulling you back. And then you meet your future spouse. And you'll be, at least at the beginning of the relationship, um, you'll be torn between the two. Because they keep showing me that your future spouse is at a distance and quite possibly somebody who's a um, foreigner. And I'm saying that for some time you're going to feel like I don't want any part in this. Yeah, see so you're meeting, I want to say you're meeting abroad. You're meeting abroad at some sort of function. Uh, or you're meeting abroad in a place that has to do with uh, documents, visas, a um, place where there's a lot of foreigners. I keep hearing a lot of languages being spoken. For some of you, maybe it's like at a port of some sort. Yeah, see, your future spouse will recognize you straight away. <laughs> I know what it is. Um, they're telling me that you guys, you're still going to be feeling conflicted. You're still not going to know what the hell is going on with that other person. You're going to be torn between two people. But your future spouse, they will see you and they'll be like, okay, no, this is... Like, they will just intuitively know that you're somebody that they want to create a family with. But you're not going to be able to see it because of that snake. Mm -hmm. Because you see, that person over here that keeps giving you mixed signals, ooh, they're going to put you in this mindset where you're going to be very defensive when it comes to relationships, when it comes to new people. Because here it's like this energy of you being drained. But I don't know how it is. I will take a look now. But somehow, your future spouse over here, they managed to set you free. Honestly, it's like... <laughs> they... Oh, I don't know. I don't know a lot of you, you're not going to like this analogy. But I'm going to say it anyway. It's like, they come and rescue you. They come into your life to rescue you from all of that BS. And if you don't like the word rescue, you can substitute it with the word, with the word help, assist, whatever makes you comfortable. But I'm sticking with rescue because you guys, you will need rescuing from that, that person who keeps sending you mixed signals, keeps going around, like round and round. All right, let's see what your, how your future spouse is going to do that. See, the thing is, they're going to show you everything that you could have, everything that you deserve. Yeah, they're not backing down. They are not backing down. But see, they're going to do it in a, such a beautiful, nice and respectful way. You're not going to be forced to do anything. It's just with the way that they're going to treat you. Because one way or another, they find a way to you. They will ask somebody for your number. They will, they will find a way. Because here they're saying like, you deserve so much more. 
you deserve the love the commitment the presence the time the effort all of that stuff and they're going to very gently very carefully very respectfully slowly start showing you the way that you could be treated and the life that you could have because your future spouse is coming through as somebody who is very grounded down to earth with strong family values somebody who's a dog lover as well by the way <laughs> They're going to start showing you love. And you might be very harsh. Like the thing is, you guys, you're not going to be against it. Because you're going to be very drawn to your future spouse. Because your higher self is going to know that this is your future spouse. And also a little bit confusing. But that's why I, say, I keep saying that like your story is, is quite unique. And here again, you're like, I'm choosing. I have to choose. I have to make a decision. And for some time, you're not going to want to make any decisions. You're like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to focus on work. I'm going to focus on myself. I'm going to focus on my well-being. And then it kind of feels that something else happens with the other person. And you're just like, you know what? I'm fed up. I'm fed up. I'm fed up of the ups and downs. I'm fed up of not being uh, able to be given the stability. And slowly but surely, you're going to be becoming more open to communication with your future spouse. And your future spouse is... Um, my gosh, they're so attracted to you. They're patient, but at the same time, they say, I'm not backing down. I'm not backing down. And they will help you get out of this relationship that you're going to be in. Call it love at first sight, call it whatever, but this person is your soulmate. They want to have children with you, they will want to have this family with you. They have feelings, guys, straight away. I mean, look at this, two of cups, six of cups, page of cups. They'll be saying that, call me crazy, but I knew from the moment I met you that you were the one for me. But they will take their sweet time. You are never going to feel like you're pressured into anything whatsoever, guys. And that will be such a big change because this person, your future spouse, is bringing you peace. They're bringing you peace, they're bringing you stability. It's going to sound weird, but they know something that you don't. They know something that you don't about your relationship. Because I'm getting somebody who's very unique, guys, and who might have the strong connection to the universe. I don't know, it might sound really weird, and I don't want to like, make this reading so much out there, like, but grow and expand establishing foundation healthy life practical details strong aries energy look at this independent brave passionate leo a lot of fire energies aries leo sagittarius is coming through very confident this person your future spouse will show you loyalty will show you creativity <clears throat> And they're very good when it comes to communication but guys they will want to create a family with you they have such good values maybe some might say that they're a little bit old-fashioned as well but they're so respectful they're so genuine <clears throat> They're going to be okay with you not trusting them because they somehow they're going to <clears throat> know the story with your ex. They're going to be okay with you maybe not trusting them, feeling like you have to check up on them or whatever, right? 
but with their help you shift back into the energy of feeling more relaxed after the two of you start dating they're not going to wait too long to propose they're not going to wait too long um because they will they won't want you to feel like you're in this no strings attached energy again and oh my god the passion they will find you irresistible and you will find them irresistible as well they'll be like let's create new memories new memories based on trust it's like they're going to rewire you and they're like you're shifting out of these energies of dating immature men or women into somebody who can give you security but you guys are going to be confused i feel for you over here because you're going to be like okay do i stay with the old person do i go with a new person but obviously you're going to decide to go with your future spouse because with time once you start feeling more secure with them that spark within you is going to grow because see, they're bringing in healing and they're bringing in true love your way. They keep showing me a flower that's opening up. This is what it feels like when it comes to you in this relationship with your future spouse. You guys are going to open up. Open up to flirting, open up to the chemistry. It's like you're being like you're going to be a different person. And you will create a lot of fun and beautiful memories over here. Getting the fear away. Getting the fear away. This is what they keep saying. And the amount of love you're going to give to yourself. Oh my gosh. Getting out of that codependent relationship. Stepping into a soul connection because this person, this guy's, uh, this person is, is your soulmate. This is what the soul connection came through. And I'm getting strong um, energies of somebody whose name might begin with an A, with a D. There's a T. J and R is coming through very strongly. Number 7, 11, 18, 21. 36 and 38 okay let me see if there's anything else that <clears throat> the cards want to add massive fear of rejection yeah you've been influenced a lot guys you've been influenced a lot but here they're saying you're actually going to feel understood and you will like break free from family patterns over here and if you do want a family if you do want children this is the perfect person to have this family with but uh, your future spouse is going to be very very patient with you waiting for you to be ready to open up and once you open up the sky is the limit all right my darlings that's what i have for you lovely option number two hope you enjoyed this reading and it resonated if you're up for a personal read send me an email the email's in the description box below so is the link to my patreon page claim the magic of this reading down in the comments and take care of your beautiful selves now bye lovely option number three hi welcome to your reading my darlings get comfy as i'm shuffling the cards say your name out loud or in your head Helps you connect the energies of the reading a little bit better. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at your relationship dynamic with your future spouse and your love story. Anything else that's going to be willing to come through in this reading? We're leaving the space open for the cards to talk. So your relationship with your future spouse is going to be like nothing you've ever experienced before. Because they keep talking about leveling up, about being in a different place. In a different place mentally, emotionally, financially. 
you're very popular you might not know it but there are a lot of people who would like to have the pleasure of your company however not a lot of them can give you exactly what it is that you want But I must say for you, option number three, you already know your future spouse. This is somebody who's coming back around. This is somebody who might have tried something with you in the past. I'm getting a lot of very confusing energies because this person truly is coming back as somebody else. So for some of you, it's a friend, for some of you, it's an ex, for some of you, it's a boss. But you know this person. And this person, after some sort of conflict that you had to experience, is coming back around within the next six months. This is a timeless reading, guys, but within the next six months, somebody from the past is coming back. Somebody you already know is coming back. And they worked a lot on themselves in order to give you what you want, what you deserve. They find you absolutely irresistible, incredibly attractive. If you don't want anything to do with your past, choose one of the other two options. But this one, option number three, I'm getting a renewed energy. I'm getting somebody you know coming back as somebody you don't. Does that make sense? Because truly, they have done a tremendous amount of work to change themselves. <clears throat> they keep giving me the energy of the past. Look at this. Nostalgic. You might have been dreaming about this person. For some of you, they keep giving me like this hint. You might have been dreaming about this person. And it could be that this person, they couldn't make a move or they couldn't make up their mind. They just didn't have what it took to win you over. And now they're coming back as this king of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy is coming through very strongly. It could even be a friend. For some of you guys, I'm seeing that your future spouse is your friend. And you might have kept them in the friend zone. But now things are changing with the two sixes where they confess their feelings, where they bring in their A-game. So this is Aries Leo Sagittarius energy is coming through and they're telling me that you're a perfect match. You saying now we are a perfect match. Because it's either before that you guys were already in the king or the queen status and they were kind of like in this page ooh, slash night energy. And you might have thought that you're too different. Different temperaments, different nationalities maybe. <clears throat> Just too different. But again, they're giving me Sagittarius energy. And now you're going to start seeing this person from a completely different perspective because they are going to surprise you. They're going to surprise you big time. With the way that they come through for you. It's quite possible that they might appear during a time when you are struggling, guys. They might make their move during a time when you really need a friend, need support, when you could really do with some warmth. And they're coming through. So it could be when you're maybe struggling a little bit with money, struggling a little bit with career. See, yeah, it could be going through family crisis of some sort. They're coming through. They're coming through to give you a helping hand, but again, there's, they're realizing that they will have to compete for your attention. Because it's almost like you guys have done so much work on yourself, whether it's through therapy or healing or however you chose to eliminate what was holding you back. Because here they're showing me you shining, you being noticed. And lots of talk about divine timing is coming through over here. 
And the thing is, it's going to be very difficult for them to, to get to your heart, to get to your soul, to get to the parts that you have hidden from the world. But they're not going to stop, they're going to persevere. Because they keep saying like this is something that's meant to happen. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Like this person is perfect for you. Like there's no such thing as perfect. But this person is going to feel like they're perfect for you. Yeah, of course they're gonna have the flaws here and there, but uh, you know, we live in a little <laughs> in the real world. But with this particular person with your future spouse, guys. They're really telling me that they already love you and they're not planning on stopping But they're coming in with a completely different energy. It's like they matured, they grew up, they understood a lot of things They might even made some money or made even a name for themselves And now they're like I'm ready I'm ready I'm ready to give you the stability. I'm ready to give you the love. And look at them missing you. Honestly, they are saying that there's so many things I wish I could tell you. How much I want to be with you. How much I want to hear your voice. How much I want to be the one who's there for you so thick and thin. The interesting thing is, guys, your future spouse to the outside world it's um it's a different person i don't understand why they keep giving me the energy of like one person being able to go into two very different personas but it's not in a negative way because some people it could be through work see your future spouse as somebody who's very serious very um focused on things and maybe a little bit of a loner but with you, they become somebody completely different. The tenderness, the desire to give you things, the desire to be there for you, it's overwhelming. Even now as I'm doing this reading, it's completely overwhelming. They keep looking at your pictures and if they had a chance to be with anybody else in the world, they would choose you over and over again it's something that they can't really explain to themselves you know it's not a rational thing it's something that comes from the heart and they're willing to wait they're willing to wait for you to mourn whatever you need to mourn for you to detach from whomever you need to detach and they find you very very sexually attractive incredibly attractive they fantasize a lot about you. Also in a bit of a naughty way. Mm -hmm. And they believe with all of their heart that the universe will bring you together and it kind of feels like the universe will. And they're really hoping and praying that you give them another chance because again, they're coming through as an emperor. They're coming through as an energy of somebody who has matured and who has ready, who's ready to give you <clears throat> everything that you deserve, the type of life that you want to live. I keep saying the past is in the past. <clears throat> the past is in the past. You know what? There are a lot of people who are interfering in your relationship. There are a lot of people who might still try to interfere. Um, I don't know if this person is well known or if you guys are surrounded by a large amount of people. But it's like people tend to interfere. People tend to influence. A lot of communication. hearing misunderstood misunderstood and a lot of gossip and envy that's surrounding you and your future spouse because it's either that they have a lot 
Ja. It's like people gossip about this person. I don't know what it is. About the type of house that they have, about their love life. <clears throat> and half of it, more than half of it, isn't even the truth. Could be the same thing that's happening to you. That a lot of people behind your back, they gossip. Yeah, look at this two of cups, two of pentacles. Who who is like going with who? But the thing is, like with them, they're going to be incredibly respectful. And the two of you, you you get out of this toxic <laughs> on to say neighborhood. <laughs> you get out of this toxic environment. And there's a lot of romance. Look at this, a lot of romance that's going to be happening. Yeah, look, oh my God, the amount of romance. Like you're going to see a completely different side to this person, but you're also going to see a completely different side to you. It's like love nourishes you. Yeah, talking about love nourishing you and look at this, we have the little watering can with love coming out of it. Both of you are going to be willing to put in the effort, guys, when we're talking about this relationship. And your heart is going to open up. <clears throat> and the thing is, like, you will start seeing a lot of people who were your frenemies. Because as you gain success, as you gain recognition, as your life gets back on track, you will start seeing a lot of people who are not happy for you. People who wanted you to be in the same place as them, to be in the same sort of relationship as them. But you're breaking free, you're breaking generational curses over here. You're letting go of control, yeah? Because this is going to be your future spouse. And you're creating a different story over here, completely different story. You will find each other so damn attractive, guys, honestly. The amount of time spent hugging, kissing, caressing, loving each other over here, it's amazing. And your future spouse, they're like, I can't wait. I can't wait anymore. I can't wait to have a family with them. I can't wait to experience this true love. If you guys are into singing or into composing, your future spouse is really going to support you on this journey. And it's quite possible that some of you, you're meant to be somebody who is very well known and very well recognized. Your differences are actually going to bring you together. If you're worried again that you're too different, they're saying that the respecting each other's differences is actually bringing the two of you closer together. You don't have to be very similar, you know? You will have similar values, similar beliefs, but you can have a completely different outlook on certain things. And in this instance, they're saying it's not something that can prevent true love from happening. But they keep dreaming about you, you keep dreaming about them. And they hope you will give him, give him, give them a chance, and trust that they have changed, they have matured. And for some of you, again, it keeps coming through. Somebody you already know that you open up. Maybe you blocked them, guys. <laughs> Maybe they're blocked already. <laughs> um, but for a lot of you, I'm seeing that they're already watching your social media, trying to see what you're up to, trying to get to know you a little bit more, trying to find a way to communicate with you. I wouldn't take the spy in this particular reading as. That's too negative, yeah? It's more about wanting to see what you're up to, wanting to make sure that you're okay and really enjoying looking at your pictures and just discovering your world. Just by looking at your social media, they feel like they're a little bit part of your world. But soon they will be the part of your world for real. And this is going to be absolutely amazing because you will have a friend, a lover, a supporter, 
all wrapped in one with a ribbon on it. Let it be so. All right, my darlings, this is what I have for you. Lovely option number three. I hope you enjoyed this reading and it resonated. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you're up for a personal read, send me an email. The email's in the description box below. Send the link to my Patreon page with my exclusive content, additional discounts, and much, much more. Make sure to check it out. All right, guys, take care now. Bye.